Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. This week we may have seen one of the uh, or one of the major signals telling us there's a reversal in the markets. Dang, I don't know why this thing does that. There was a shooting star signal, Harami, in the Dow up here in the overbought area. That shooting star, Harami, one of the 12 major signals, told us we're probably likely to start seeing some selling. Now we saw that on Friday, confirming the Thursday shooting star signal. However, notice where it closed right here on the T-line, stochastics trying to head down. So we need one more confirmation that the selling has started if we uh, see them trade the markets lower on Monday. That would imply at least coming back down to test this level and maybe one of these levels. Now that's also being and uh, confirmed by the fact that we saw a bearish a bearish kicker signal in the uh, the Nasdaq, and it did it right here at the uh, fifty day moving average. The two hundred day moving average is way down here. However, if this is wave one, wave two failing at the 50 we call this a blue ice failure where they've fallen through the ice they've come back up to try the hole find the hole they fell through they can't they drown so they go to the bottom of the pond which in this case would be the 200 day moving average so friday you saw the uh, nasdaq try to come up but notice where it failed right at the t line if they start trading this lower on monday you want to be looking to be pretty strong to the uh, short side. So some of the sectors this week, you want to be short auto dealers and short retail. Things like CPRT, there's that J, bearish J-hook pattern setting up uh, in that sector. We also can see the retail stocks. Notice our big bearish Harami signal, one of the 12 major signals telling us that the buying had stopped and now they're selling it off uh, pretty hard. This could have a lot more downside. Now we're start, still seeing some strength over in the electric vehicle sector. Not every one of them, but there's enough of them that are showing good buy signals. Root is one. You probably wanna still take a look at Quantum Scape S, I'm sorry, QS and Blink. Another one, I'll have a list of them in the uh, the text area. And the fry pan bottoms are still working. For example, load, one of the uh, gold stocks. You can see the fry pan bottom. You can see how it stays up, is staying up above the T line. And the reason you want to be trading the patterns is this is a buildup of investor sentiment, not worried about individual days of the uh, market overall market trend. Those usually produce high profit uh, breakout situations. So remember a couple of weeks ago, we did our rare process when this kicker signal started developing on eyes. So the rare process was all we did was go back and see what caused that uh, breakout. We started buying at 290. And it basically boiled down to that the FDA had approved some of their processes or equipment for helping uh, restore blind people's sight. So when you look at that and you're buying a signal, it basically kind of puts in the frame of mind, is there gonna be more upside based upon that information? As we can see, our re research analysis, reverse engineering, uh, confirming the uh, kicker signal is still in a strong uptrend. You're seeing that same thing on Clovis, where on Friday they did that same kicker type signal. And as we did our research, they had been approved for a cancer treatment that uh, for a variant uh, cancer that was not the same as chemo. So the implication would be that this could be a very strong move. And that implication was, is uh, signified by this kicker signal. So this is not rocket science. Anytime you see a candlestick reversal signal, 
a major reversal signal, all you do is go back and research to see what the information was that created that signal. If it was something like an upgrade, that wouldn't have changed investor sentiment. That would have just changed current supply and demand. But the fact that they've been approved for things that might improve their uh, prospects out in the future tells you this is could be the start of a signal or pattern. So with that, I'm going to do a little promo. This coming weekend, March 27th and 28th, we do a two-day comprehensive training on candlestick analysis, starting from A to Z. You might have seen bits and pieces throughout time, but when you see everything in a logical, chronological order, the comprehension of why candlestick signals work so effectively starts kicking in the, or I don't want to use that word, starts taking place mentally so that you're now analyzing price moves based upon the most consistent uh, indicator in the world, and that's human nature. With that, well, pshaw. The fact that we saw that uh, shooting star in the Dow in the overbought condition and started selling off, it'll be important to see how they open the markets tomorrow. If the pre-market futures are telling you they're opening lower, they're confirming this signal and telling you that the trend kicker of the NASDAQ is also showing strong force to the downside. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.